Hi there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another tarot reading, Scorpios. I missed you guys so much, and I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing, Scorpio. Uh, Scorpio, never, ever, ever stop dreaming. You know, any and everything is possible. It's so important to surround yourself with positive-minded people or like-minded energy, you know, people, because... You don't want anyone to compromise what you are trying to manifest and what your dreams are. And sometimes you have to keep those dreams to yourself, even though you be wanting someone to share them with or to talk about it. Sometimes people can't see your vision. So, you know, what, what, what spirit has for you, Scorpio, is for you. And I feel like you're in this energy now, Scorpio, where spirit is about to elevate Scorpio. Now, this is a general so I can't call and point and say who is for and who is going to happen to. That's between you and spirit. I'm just here to deliver the message in love, of course, Scorpio. But some Scorpios are about to have a major transformation in their lives. I'm talking about everything. I'm talking about anything that's off, anything that's imbalanced, anything is lacking, anything that's out of order. Spirit is about to come in and just sweep it all away and almost like give you a brand new life. Let me ask you something, Scorpio. Now, if you had the opportunity to have a brand new life in any type of way you could possibly imagine, would you, would you try to repair the life that you have now or would you take that brand new life. See, where spirit is trying to take you, Scorpio, that's why you're elevating in such an abundant way spiritually first before anything. Because you're going to be in a different category as, you know, than, than the average person. And you're going to be like in a boss energy. Uh, so you have to be able to um, handle this, this fabulous abundant life that spirit is about to bring into your life because if you're not humbled, healed, and mature with wisdom, as easily as it comes, it could be hard when it came, but it can lead just, just the same. So spirit is just trying to prepare you, Scorpio, and a lot of people can't take this journey with you because it's not for them. <laughs> and it may be sad because, you know, you may have to leave even family members. You may have to leave friends, family. You may have to leave the dog, the cat, I'm just saying, you. What, what if you have to do that for this brand new life that is specifically for you in your soul's journey here? Now, that's that's a deep question. Would you take that brand new beginning, that spirit, if you if you could have the possibility of doing that? Like I said, I feel like some Scorpios are about to uh, experience exactly that. So what I've done, I'm going to start this reading off. I was meditating on your energy, and I pulled two oracle decks here to to uh pull the energy for you something that can help you stimulate your thinking something that can promote healing something that can encourage you something perhaps that can bring some type of clarity you know it's not always about love even though that's what i'm about honey we're gonna delve into your love and your romance we have to always see what spirit has for you as well as for me. So we're going to be using the Earth Magic Oracle cards. I'm taking one card out of each one. And I'm going to have to read them. So bear with me. But it's beautiful. Uh, I haven't read up. I just got found the pages to them. And I'm going to read them to you. But so far I already see what Spirit is doing. It's just something. And then also ask your guides here. You know you are protected. You have your spiritual guides with you. Uh, you know, a lot of times we don't understand things that's going on in the world, and I guess we're not supposed to, but something is going on in the world spiritually, Scorpio, and I'm, I'm just going to say he that has the ear and the eye to see, then you know exactly what's going on. Now, for this first card here, which I think is, um, I think this is the Ask Your Guide card. This is, Ask Your, this is from the Ask Your Guide deck, and this is from your Earth Magic this earth magic says to compromise, and it's talking about master teacher here. So it seems like you're going to be in some type of teacher position or you got a master that's about to teach you in some type of way. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to read it, but just based on the energy of it, 
Because if you see this right here, you got a a, a, ma a massive uh, energy right here, dominating energy. We know that that's a master energy because it's such a powerful energy here. And someone is looking to this person. It's almost like, like I always say, Scorpio, you can bridge the, 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 the gap. You bring people together. You bring in unity, Scorpio. Now, I'm going to read this, but you also have over here rain and purification here. Now, when it says purification, we know that there's some type of cleansing going on here. And what better way to do it than the water, Scorpio? And I see with this card, I feel like Spirit is telling you, you water, Scorpio, you're full of emotions. Don't you know how powerful your emotions in, 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 is for? I mean, do, do you know what you could do in your own emotions? It's like your emotions can tear down some shit. But the same emotions can love your ass right on back up, Scorpio. So you have rain and um, purification. You have compromise and master teacher here. And over here on this side, you have green man, which is synergy. So this got to deal with some type of uh, earth, earthly things, I feel like. But then you have celebration, joy guides here. So I'm going to start these off, and I'm going to put... Uh, Let's see which one. I'm gonna start with the um with your uh earth angels here. Your ain't your earth magic. So the earth magic, so we had number 49 and number do I want this one? No, I'm gonna wait on this because let's do the other one first because I I was looking for a celebration and when I started I accidentally started reading up on it, I realized what it was. I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing. So I'm gonna say that for the last one. So let's start off with this compromise here. Master teacher here. So you got number 14. Oh, no, we're doing the perfect. Well, I'm confused. Wait a minute. Oh, my. Oh, okay. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> okay, so rain, purification here, Scorpio. Now, what this card represents for you, Scorpio, my loves. Now, what it says is, Scorpio, it says, purifying your mind, body, and soul is the task that is put before you. Purify your mind by identifying a prominent belief you carry about yourself that inhibits you from being fully engaged in life, from showing up 100% of the time. Purify your heart by allowing yourself to breathe in and out blessings and forgiveness so that you can love even more deeply. Let yourself feel your grief. Truly feel it so that the rivers of your tears become miniature baptisms that help heal the wounds in your soul. If necessary, detoxify your body, the temple and seat of the soul by changing your diet, doing a cleanse for a few days or simply drinking more water. Increasing the daily amount of water you drink with deep appreciation for its purpose will revitalize your spirit. It is no wonder that in some indigenous languages, water is called lifeblood, as it is so essential to every form of life on earth. Take time to purify yourself, Scorpio. You see what they say? They say it's no wonder that it is so indigenous because it is an essential to every form of life on earth. So you don't have water. You don't have anything. There's no growth. So you, you're very, very, <laughs> honey, your emotions are very, very important, Scorpio. Who you are, who, are, who you created to be is very, very important in the land today. You're not here just to only just have a um, human experience, which we are, but you're also here because you're needed here. <laughs> there was a position for you that it was, a, it was an empty position that, that you decided to come down here and feel. And can't nobody feel this rain purification position better than Scorpio can. So what Spirit is telling you, you are so valuable in your element, which is in emotions with this water energy. You're so giving, you're so nurturing, you're so loving, you're so um, self-denying. But Spirit is also reminding you that same loving energy, whatever it is that you give out, please don't ever forget 
to give it right back to yourself because you need it just as well, Scorpio. And that's what I feel now. This green man synergy here. Now, this is synergy here. Now, this talks about you have the advantage of an incredible synergy at this time. A flow of life is guiding you where things just seem to fall into place as you move about your business. You are in a mutually cooperative interaction with spirit and your will is aligned with the will of spirit and your mission is congruent with your sense of purpose. When this is happening, there is a synergy, a way that your life force is continually coming into balance with the forces of nature. There is also a synergy between your spiritual awareness and your personal self or ego. Be aware of the various syncrasias of your ego and do not take any of them too seriously. Know that your higher self is always looking out for your best interests. In this cycle, tune in to that guidance, however it shows up, and you will find that you move through life with greater ease due to a synergistic balance of forces expressing themselves as you. These are the cards that came out. Scorpio Spirit is just telling you about yourself. That's all. It's telling you you have the advantage of an incredible synergy at this time. A flow of life is guiding you where things just seem to fall into place as you move about your business. So it's telling you, look, I guess Spirit is telling you go with the flow, Scorpio, because things are going to start happening. In other words, you're not going to have to chase certain things, you know. You're not going to have to pursue things, things that you probably thought was off limit to you. Now, Spirit has put you in a different place. You're going to always be at the right place at the right time. Spirit said things are just going to start falling in place for you, Scorpio. That's that synergy. Things are just aligning up. It's like aligning up. You know how you, I'm talking about, let's say, let's say like this. Let's say what if you, let's say you went about a scratch off ticket and you, it's raining outside or whatever, and you know you shouldn't be outside, but something is really pushing you to go bit, get a card. And you go to the line, and you get a card, and you, let's say you got got one behind somebody, and they, and they gave you the wrong card. You was like, well, I didn't ask for that number. I asked for this number. And you were like, don't worry about it. Give it to me. And you just go on and leave. But you end up getting that ticket and this million-dollar ticket. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's synergy right there. <laughs> I'm talking about you just be a... Those, little things like that, which they're not little, but they're not a by chance things. Those are faded events. It's synergy. I've been seeing so many 333s, 444s, 555, 11 I've been seeing so many synchronicities. I've been seeing so many things going on that's why i said something going on in the spiritual realm scorpio if you haven't noticed here so let me let me keep on let me let me keep on so now let's move over to this next deck real quick and make it do what it do scorpio which we have compromise master teacher and we have celebration here so let's see now we're going to start with number 49 first which is this compromise and master teacher okay so okay Okay, so what it says, Scorpio, it says, now this de deals with uh, concession, fairness, democracy, and neutrality here. It says, your master teacher is reminding you that nothing is entirely good or bad, even people, and that every person in their own version of reality, which may not necessarily agree with yours. Instead of arguing with or feeling wronged by those who refuse to submit to your point of view, give up your righteous and rigid demands and broaden your perceptive perspective to include the interests of those you struggle with now. Mm -mm. Who? Mentally move towards center and open your mind to look at the situation from their point of view. Although it's easy to feel indignant and defensive as you deal with this current impasse. The truth is that no one's trying to harm you, Scorpio. <laughs> Everybody trying to hurt you, Scorpio. <laughs> Unfold your goddamn arms. Get all these sticks down. Why you got them blocked? <laughs> Do you hear what they tell you? They're like, look, everybody ain't out to get you. <laughs> 
damn. Spirit like, oh my. I can see Spirit sitting up there now shaking their head like, God. Everybody ain't trying to get you, <laughs> Scorpio. What? You say you wanted a new love. I'm trying. They right here, but you, you won't even look at the dude. <laughs> oh, shit. You won't even look at the person I done sent for you because you think everybody's going to try to harm you, Scorpio. <laughs> okay, so it says, let me read that again. Although it's easy to feel indignant and defensive, you know you be defensive, as you deal with this current impasse, impasse uh, the truth is that no one's trying to harm you. Instead, your dis distractors are simply supporting their own interests and priorities, which are different from yours. Rather than reacting emotionally to their resistance, strive to understand them. Be mindful not to be overly self-centered, however justified it may feel. Strive to be fair instead. So the message for this card is accept that your interests are no more or less important than those of people around you. So the only way to progress to higher ground is to compromise. Spirit, spirit asking y'all to compromise, Scorpio. Now you know it's bad when spirit got to ask you to compromise. <laughs> Spirit had to ask y'all to compromise. Spirit like, God damn, I'm trying to... Like, Brian, will you tell Scorpio to compromise, please? That, 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 would you tell them that that's what they need to do? Because I got so much I want to give them, but they just won't compromise because, because he not needed. Because <laughs> he got a receding hairline. Because he got a little extra gut, but this person would treat, her, treat Scorpio like the queen and the goddess that she is. Or like the king and the divine masculine that he is, but they keep they keep sabotaging it. They keep they won't compromise. <laughs> Y'all gonna have to compromise, Scorpio. And that's something that I really had to learn on my own. I just felt like you know I feel like you know how you do, Scorpio. You you like the like the like you say. J However justified you may feel like disagreeing with that person, that person still has their right to their own opinion and beliefs. It should never be a challenge between people when everyone has their own different beliefs and opinions. We're all individuals. But I feel like the problem comes in is that we low-key be hurt that they don't agree or want what we want. You know, and that's not fair. You know, you should, we should be get to a place where we're comfortable enough where we can agree to disagree and not block them. <laughs> Like I show your ass, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get mad, little, little petty ass shit that keep you from being in a loving relationship, Scorpio. But I feel like spirit is just really trying to mature you and prepare you because spirit has something for you, Scorpio, and you're gonna be very, very happy. Now let's do the celebration joy, guys. Right quick, Scorpio, wrap this oracle part up. So this celebration card is. Wait a minute, what was the card? I thought this was the... Wait a minute. I guess it was a different card, Scorpio. My bad. Celebration Joy, guys. Alignment. Oh, yeah, this is what it says. So this Celebration Joy, guys, Scorpio, says alignment, harvest, bonding, and marriage. So that's, that's why I thought it was good because this, this is what this is about. It says you're entering a period of great expansion and celebration. Your joy, your joy guys are at hand, ushering you into a season of abundance, celebration, and hospitality. You're loved, accepted, and trusted by those around you. This is a time when life gives back to you, Scorpio. You may become engaged, get married, receive a promotion, land a deal, or just get a long-awaited lucky break. Ooh, see, I knew this was going to be good. I knew it was going to be good. You heard it, Scorpio. This for you. <sighs> Whatever you desire, your joy guys are urging you to prepare. Didn't I just tell you that? To prepare for, because it's surely coming. Realize that at life's tides turn your way, you had the will of fortune in your last card. I told you it's time, Scorpio. It's finally in your favor. Look, it's on your side. 
I told you the wheel is turning in your favor. What was lost and what, what you thought was over, Spirit is about to replenish you. Ooh, 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 ooh. You remember when they say, uh, let me upgrade you? Spirit is about to upgrade you, Scorpio. It, 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 it's so much better than the way a man could do when Spirit upgrades you. Scorpio. There's no comparison, Scorpio. It says, realize that there's a life turn, ties turn your way. The soon to become realized positive flow of events isn't just a fluke, fluke or an accident or just the luck of the draw. Rather, it's the natural outcome of your unwavering effort. Damn, and commitments to your dreams and goals. I just told you, never ever stop dreaming. Woo! I tell you, Spirit be talking to y'all. I'm telling you, Spirit be talking to us, Scorpio. It says your joy. Okay, so your message for your joy, guys, tell you, Scorpio. Now, this is what they're telling you. Now, this is the card that I pull. It says, plan for the party. You'll soon have reason to celebrate. <laughs> Y'all better get ready. I told you, you better prepare yourself. Something is amazing about to happen, Scorpio. Prepare yourself is what Spirit is telling you. You better prepare yourself. It ain't nothing like the uh the moment coming around and you I, 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 I ain't got nothing. I, 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 I ain't got nothing to wear. Uh uh Spirit telling you to prepare yourself now. I wanna hit up. You got plenty of time to start now. But I always feel like if it's in your budget, always keep something, something in the closet where you can just <laughs> Every woman needs a come get me dress. I'm just saying you can't go wrong with a come get me dress. <laughs> and I ain't saying you're trying to give it to him, but God damn, you're about to get your sexy on. I'm telling you. Ooh, Scorpio, I feel like Spirit's about to awaken every part of you. And Spirit wants you to prepare for it, Scorpio. Give me a moment, Scorpio. Let me put these up because I don't want... Just prepare yourself. Now, I got you... I got you four cards that came out when I shuffled these. So let's see, which is these heart-shaped oracle cards here. Then we're going to go to the tarot. Oh, yeah, Scorpio. Y'all didn't tell. I don't think y'all told me about them um, Scorpio versus all of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another reading like that, but it's going to be for two Zodiac signs that I'm going to choose. And it's going to be based on all of the readings, all of the comments that I be hearing. I always hear about Leo and I always hear about Gemini. So the next Scorpio versus all of them is going to be Scorpio. It's going to be Leo and Gemini. So heads up. Okay. And then I'm definitely going to do Scorpio and Scorpio too. So your, your cards that came out here, Scorpio, the first card came out is romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. Like I said, Spirit is trying to prepare you because you got love coming in, Scorpio. Cupid's arrow strikes now. Check it out. It didn't say Cupid's arrow um, shot or Cupid's, Cupid want to shoot. It said Cupid's arrow strikes, so I know it's going to hit, okay? So you're going to like this, obviously, because you got, you got, a, <laughs> you got a spiritual... Something spiritual is going to allow this to happen because this is a spirit. The Cupid's arrow is a little angel. It's like a love angel. If they're going to shoot that love energy in your ass, then you're going to like this, I'm telling you. And the next card that came out after this romance, Scorpio, is transformation. It says your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Now, take it how you want it now. It could be for whomever. I don't know. And we ain't going there, Scorpio, because I know that there's other things other than exes. That's why I'm going to pull some cards. I even use two decks. You know, we'll see. So this next card says, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So whatever the circumstances you in, and I, cause this next card plopped out. I'm like, oh, this, this don't make no sense. Why is this card here? Because it says, look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. And I'm like, what? But then I just remembered that this card right here says, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. See, some Scorpios may not, may not be even knowing that you, you low key still need to heal because you may be feeling inadequate. You may not be feeling love. You may not feeling like you, you know, that, that you're lovable. Let's keep it real. You know, sometimes you can go through relationships that really does a lot to your 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 um your self esteem, 
and you know have you really second guessing your your worth and it's not on you it's because of the energy that you join up with but spirit loves you and spirit's gonna send you someone who don't care about that shit this person's gonna help you come out of that shit with the way they're gonna treat you so the spirit is asking some of you scorpios to look inside yourself and ask you why do you feel this way why would you feel like you're not loved why, why would you feel like you're not good enough why do you feel like it you know Whatever reason that, that have you feeling like you need to um, um, tell yourself that you deserve to feel love, then spirit wants to look at you and wants you to answer, uh, wants you to look inside and you answer, why do you feel this way? And it's for some. Now, I know it's not going to resonate with every single Scorpio, okay? So, <laughs> yeah. All right, so let me see. Let's pull these tarots. Let's pull these tarots here. You got romance coming because Cupid's arrow has struck. What that means, the spirit is in this. Spirit sent sending this to you. That's why spirit is telling you, get ready, because with that celebration, you might get you a surprise invitation for the holiday. Somebody might want to bring in the New Year's with you, Scorpio. Someone might want to be around you for the holiday. Like I told you, it's a lot of out-of-towners here, Scorpio, a lot of out-of-staters here. And she just never know, you know. You just never know. You just, that that's why I like that like that one um like that one car said, and I think it was something about I don't know if, which one it was, but it was talking about all of the good things that was about to happen in your life. But it's telling you that it wasn't luck, it wasn't by chance, none of those things would was like that. But it was only because you continue to believe and put in the word and move forward. That's the only thing it required you to do. Therefore, Spirit is bringing those things to you. And that, that's what it says, Scorpio. You know, because some folks think, oh, she lucky. But you don't know what they're doing behind the closed door. They can really be manifesting, you know, and, and really putting in their spiritual work that keep abundance steady coming to them. And it ain't got to be nothing dark. Because you can, you can just chant positive affirmations every single day and that's the law of the universe it has to come and you can chant negative things all day long and your whole life gonna fall apart i'm saying that's the law of the land this is how it is all right spirit show me who is coming to a scorpio what does scorpio need to know and be aware of in love and in romance spirit we really would love some new love yeah oh yeah scorpio i was i had drunk so much coffee yesterday i had <laughs> Oh my gosh, I was on one. I was hyped. I had to break my yard. I was on one. I drank some coffee and I realized that I was on one. I had to calm myself down and lay off the coffee and drink me some tea. But I be needing that extra push. And then when it get cold outside, I be wanting to get warm so I get me some coffee. But that coffee will have me wired up. So I'm a little bit more mellowed out today, Scorpio. Then look, back to, it starts getting early here. Like at 5 o'clock p.m. So you be thinking it's late and this pit be early. <laughs> you get to yawn until you look at the... You're like, what, it's just 8 o'clock? <laughs> Damn. Messed around and took a nap. Now you up all night long. <laughs> so what I'm going to start doing is some of these nights when I'm up, because I didn't got up, my hours is off here. I'm just going to start going live and doing readings here. When I can't sleep, well, I ain't going to probably do that. Because <laughs> then I mean I have to put some... Well, no, I don't have to show my face because I might be in my gown. So I could always pull these cards live, though. I just show the card, you know. All right, Spirit, what does Scorpio have? You got the Warrior of Wands at the bottom. Now, that's that Knight of Wands, I believe. Now, <laughs> now I'm just saying, now. So all I'm going to say is now. All right, Spirit, show me who is coming towards Scorpio in love and in romance. Please be amazing for Scorpio. You got chance. Chance. Now, I don't know what chance is, Scorpio's chance. I know it's not the fool card, and I don't know these num numerology numbers, Scorpio. Forgive me. So, I know the first couple of them. <laughs> but I'm going to find it. Hold on. I know it's going to be something simple. Chance, but I mean, it couldn't chance. Chance is opportunity. I want to say the ace. I know it's not the star card. Looking at the picture doesn't look like the star. There's water around her. I know it's not the empress. Let me just keep looking, Scorpio. Chance. It's the will of four. Damn. I could... <laughs> 
How come I didn't know that? Well, dang, this is chance. This is will of fortune, Scorpio. I tell you what, that right hand show been itch. When, when y'all, do y'all right hand itch when y'all feel like money come? My right hand stay itching, so I don't know. My, I don't know. I, I, I feel like when my left hand itch, that means I'm about to pay a bill or something. When my right hand itch, money's coming in, uh, about to come in. That's how it's always been, you know. But is, is, does it happen to you? Does, does your hand itch? <laughs> itch on hand. I said itch on. This is the will of fortune, Scorpio. So that means something is about to happen in your life. The will of fortune, that means that uh, the wheels are constantly changing. But I feel like you have an opportunity for something to take place in your life. Like like, like the, the description was said about the other car, and I forgot which one it was. It's like, it's not luck. It's, it's not a by chance thing, yet, but yet, yet it is going to present you a chance, chance, Scorpio. It's just that, you put in that time. You see, that, that, this is what the will of fortune really is. It's whatever you put out there is coming right back to you. It's all it is. So if you put in that work, you've sown good seeds, wholesome seeds of integrity from love, from a good place. Guess what's about to come back to you, Scorpio? It's coming back around, Scorpio. It's time. I said, Scorpio, whatever you have planted is about to come back around because it's time. It's like it's harvest time, and it is. Aren't we in harvest season, Scorpio? Happy harvest team time, Scorpio. It's coming back around, Scorpio. It's coming back around. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Now you have the nymph, the nymph of pentacles. Now, what's the nymph of pentacles? I only see that one pentacle. It must be the page of pentacles. I guess it's a page. This is like a message of some good news, and I know that nymph, I know that nymph is a page, but that's a weird looking page too, ain't it? <laughs> but it's a pentacle. I said a pentacle. Nymph. So this, the, the key word, the definition for this nymph of pentacles is manifestation, financial, business, opportunity, trust, intention. Oh, Scorpio. It says manifestation. Finance. You've been manifesting money. I know you've been manifesting a button. I'm have to see what this will of fortune is now. I like them. Talk. I like their interpretation of it, Scorpio. I'm gonna have to see now. Bear with me, Scorpio. You got money. You got ooh. You got money, money, money coming around you. I'm telling you. Wow, Scorpio. I tell you, you always have aces. Or you always have some type of abundance around you. Always. Oh, I don't miss that. Okay, so. So this is opportunity, shifting of perspective, gifts, abundance, growth. Look at you, Scorpio. Look at you, Scorpio. Look at you, Scorpio. This is this is chance. This is chance. That's what it says, Scorpio. And chance is traditionally the will of fortune. And it says opportunity, shifting of perspective, gifts, abundance, growth. <laughs> now, let me remind you again what that nymph of pentacles said. This is what you got. You got money all around you. I see money all around me. Don't you see money all around? You got to be able to see that shit in the spiritual realm before it comes in the physical realm, Scorpio. You got that vision. You hold on to your dream. You have to see it, honey. If you can see it, Scorpio, you can have it. Spirit telling you, if you can see it, Scorpio, you can have it. If you can see it, Scorpio, you can have it. Manifestations, financial, business, opportunity, trust, intentions. So with this this nymph of pentacles along with the will of uh, the the, uh, the page of pentacles along with the will of fortune in this deck, which is let me tell you what this deck is: the intuitive night goddess uh, tarot. The intuitive night goddess tarot. Just in case you're interested in getting it, I got them off of Amazon. Just in case you're interested, because it's it's she got extra. It's just like. Don't you see what spirit is about to do for you? Didn't I tell you in the beginning of this reading? What did I tell you in the beginning of this reading, Scorpio? I said Scorpio is, spirit is about to change some Scorpio's life and the spirit is trying to prepare you 
for this brand new life. You have been manifesting your ass out. So, you know, when people try to talk shit about you, they don't know your life. They don't know what you had to do to get to what spirit is about to take you. But spirit say no such thing as luck when it come to what you what you what you're gonna have. In other words, when you're lucky, uh, luck can change, and you you can you know you can go from good to bad. But when it's because of your own constant works, which is constantly uh, manifesting, uh, moving forward, staying productive, instead of moving forward towards your objective. That is the thing that gives you these opportunities to keep you victorious. It ain't no luck. It's because you've been putting in that work. This is manifestation right here. You got abundance coming your way. Oh my goodness, Scorpio. This is what this. Wow. Spirit, show me some more energy for Scorpio. do have the six of swords here so i feel like some scorpios is getting the hell out the dodge because spirit is about to upgrade you you about to relocate scorpio i feel like spirit is about to take you and elevate you to higher ground you're not going to have to deal with certain things because you're going to be in a different bracket you're going to be in a whole different income bracket scorpio do you hear me scorpio is moving on up wait <laughs> Scorpio's moving on up, moving on to the east side, to a deluxe mansion in the sky. Scorpio's moving on up. <laughs> I bet my daughter be like, Mama, stop. Spirit just says you're about to move on the hub. <laughs> This is why you're going to be moving away from things that no longer serve you, Scorpio. You're about to move to your peace. You're about to move to your peace, Scorpio. Scorpio, what does peace, what does a peaceful life look like for you? Because for some Scorpios, your life is about to change and you're going to get exactly that. If you have been agitated and in your head and, and, and confused and, and just not in a, a happy place, Spirit is about to, ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. You're about to change. Your whole life is about to change, Scorpio. Not only is Spirit about to upgrade you, you're not even going to be the same person. You, you're going to be damn near in, in, in wealth, wealthy status energy. You, you, you're going to be a celebrity status, Scorpio, because you're going to have the finest everything. I see that. You, but you're going to stay humble, though. It's a lot of people who are not going to be able to take this journey with you, Scorpio. You see, you alone, you and yours. A lot of people are not going to be able to take this journey with you. Spirit, show me what's going on with Scorpio. You got the Page of Pentacles, the Will of Fortune, which is the Nymph of Pentacles, Chance, and the Six of Swords. Ooh, look at that transformation. Rebirth. Like I told you, Scorpio Spirit is about to change a lot of y'all life and you're about to have a rebirth again. You know, Scorpio don't just transform one time. We continuously transform over and over and over. But the beautiful thing about us is we constantly re rebirthing. So like I say, Spirit's about to, what, what you thought was once dead, Spirit's about to come in and, and it's like this, the, <laughs> you know how it's almost like, you know how you in a crowd and you see the most powerful one walking by and you're like, if he just look in my direction, I know I'd be made whole. It's like spirit done look down on you eye to eye and changed your whole world, Scorpio. It's like you got the you you got the jewels. It's like the attention is on you. It's like the light is on you now, Scorpio, because this is your energy dead. Now we know that this is transformation here. Uh, this is. You got two major arcanas, death, and this is your energy, but it's also rebirth. So you, look, don't nobody re, rebirth uh, uh, and things and reborn themselves like you, Scorpio. You're in your power, Scorpio. Spirit is letting you know there's major transformation going on. And remember, you got this transformation card over here as well. Yep, it says your relationship with one another is about to deepen love, conquers, and transforms all things. And it is, Scorpio, for some of y'all. So don't, don't be in the comment section saying, it better not be for me. <laughs> Please don't do that. Surely you 
know what's best for you, my love. God dang. Ooh, spirit, show me what's going on with Scorpio, spirit. Make it make sense here, spirit. What's going on with Scorpio? In love and in romance and whatever else you want Scorpio to know. Look at that three of wands. You're looking ahead, Scorpio. You're planning for your future. So you left the situation that no longer serve you now, and you're leaving them behind. Now you're focused ahead, Scorpio, because you know things are about to take place in your life, Scorpio. I feel like ships are coming in, however subtle they may seem. As long as something is constantly moving, Scorpio, you're, you're doing exactly what you should be doing. You're not going to miss a beat. You're not going to get left behind. You're not in a race. This is your own individual journey. Enjoy the journey, Scorpio, because this is a lesson. It's a lesson to be learned. So three of wands is foresight, it's planning. It's also uh, waiting for your ships to come in here. And I feel like, Scorpio, you've been putting in all this spiritual work. And the only thing you got left to do is to wait. You're just waiting on it. For some, Scorpio, you're just waiting. You 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 put in that work. You're just waiting for it to land in your hand. <laughs> you're just waiting to see it. <laughs> but it's coming, though, Scorpio. It's coming. All this abundant energy, Scorpio, spirits to letting you know that it's coming. I'm about to change your whole life, Scorpio. Something that you thought was impossible, something that you thought was only your dream. I'm going to show you that dreams come true, Scorpio. Look. <laughs> Ace of Cups. See? Spirits about to prove some of y'all Scorpios wrong. Because some of you Scorpios feel like, look, it ain't going to happen. All you doing is pulling cards. This is a bunch of jibber jabber shock slot stuff <laughs> we don't believe that crap well honey you don't need to be over here but some people do believe in love they believe in the power of manifesting in the universal laws and they believe that what you put out there surely that good thing will come back and i hope that you can heal and you can see it that way too so that you can be happy too i hope you do but look scorpio if you're a scorpio even if you ain't in your high vibration you do have the opportunity spirit is sending you love overflowing this is a brand new beginning for you scorpio you have brand new beginning coming your way now this could be a relationship remember we're doing love I ain't seen no love here so far, Scorpio. Now, it could be you done left a love with the Six of Swords. You didn't end it something here. You turned your back, and you're going to focus on someone else here. Let me see, because I don't see no person. That little page, that truly, that ain't it. That's money. Spirit and I already clarified that the, the uh, Nymph of Pentacles and Chance is about the abundance that Spirit has for you, as well as this Ace of Cups, because like I said, Scorpio, Spirit is about to give you a brand new life. A brand new life. It ain't just gonna be in love. It's not gonna just be in your finance. It's gonna be in your your mental your mental abilities, your emotional, uh, your psychic abilities, your spirituality, your health, everything. I'm telling you. Who look at that warrior of wands? <laughs> All right, spirit. Show me what's going on with Scorpio in love and romance, please. What's going on with Scorpio? Who is coming towards Scorpio? Spirit, show me. The mystic. Now, I know this is not the star card. You see that? She got a wand in her hand, though. You see that? Ain't that some shit? You see her? She out there doing something with that thing, ain't she? I ain't here to judge you, girl. I ain't here to judge you, you know. That if that's what rocks your boat, I mean, I guess. And she got a tail, too. Is that her tail? Or she out there with the animal? Ooh, she, ooh, child. Let me see what this mystic is all about. Oh, Scorpio, 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 the mystic. Now, you, if anybody mystic, it's you, Scorpio, with your mystic self, Scorpio. You getting all of the, okay. The Hierophant. Ain't that some shit, Scorpio? The mystic is the Hierophant. Now, I look, I should have known. I ain't look at this card long enough because look at this book of wisdom here. But she's in water. This is a different energy, you know, in a, a picture of what we used to see it as the Hierophant. But this is what it is, the Hierophant, Scorpio. Who you look at you, you got the will of fortune, you got death, and you got the uh, Hierophant, Scorpio. What are you doing? This is why this, this nymph of pentacles is showing up for you. Ooh, I got to see what this is about. Let me read the keywords for it. So the key words for this mystic, which is the uh, Hierophant, it says spiritual wisdom, personal belief, and mysteries revealed. 
See, didn't I tell you you was going to get a whole brand new everything? Spirit was going to enhance everything. Everything. You're going to go high. See, the higher you go in your spirituality, which is your gift, and for most Scorpios, your life's journey, the more spirit is going to open and reveal to you. That's why spirit is going to elevate you and get you to your own space, your own circle, your own tribe. Because everybody, you, everybody's not going to be able to be around you in this type of energy. You're too. You're going to be too too much of an asset and um, too much. Um, you're going to be way too much powerful, Scorpio. I and mean, people can't handle that. Not average people. You probably have to leave the hood. <laughs> You're going to have to leave the hood this time, no, Scorpio. This ain't hood energy right here. I'm telling you, this is some. I'm telling you, this is not the type of energy that anyone can just come to your house. That You're not accessible with this type of energy. They have to make a freaking appointment with this type of energy, Scorpio. And it ain't, they ain't making no appointment with you. They making an appointment with your, your, your security, your secretary, uh, the ones who your assistant. Did you hear what I said? With your assistant. That's right. I said it. I ain't seen no man. I ain't seen your person yet. Maybe this is what spirit wants you to know, though. I'll pull some more cards, though. But this is for you. You got the Hierophant, death. Let me see what death is. What do they say about death? I'm just curious, Scorpio, because this, this is what came out, and these are major. So that means that this is a, 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 a monumental a time that's going on in your life. That's why I said something's going on spiritually because I feel it. I feel it. How can you not feel it? <laughs> How can you not feel it? It's good and there's bad, you know. So, so it says rebirth, endings, letting go, and transformation here. So I feel like what you you've let go of some things with the six of swords here, but you're about to have a rebirth. Because I feel like you're going through transformation, letting go. I feel like you've let go of things which ushered in transformation. Now you're about to, now spirit, whatever was lost in your letting go, spirit's about to give it back to you. It's going to be with someone different. It's going to be someone who's more appropriate for you, Scorpio. But for you, you upgraded. Spirit's going to send you the finest of everything. Now, Scorpio, with this Ace of Cups. You're about to get the, I'm going to tell you what Ace of Cups mean in, in this deck. Then. So we might just be reading tarot cards. I'm just saying because, who Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. I feel like Spirit is trying to talk to you, Scorpio, because Spirit has something amazing for you. Now, this deck, in this, this deck, this Ace of Cups says, uh, new relationships, intuition, connection, tenderness, love, and imagination. You got love coming, Scorpio. You got relation. You got a new relationship. It says new relation. You got a new relationship coming. This is a gift from the Father, from the Creator, Scorpio. This Ace of Cups. Oh, Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. I'm trying to find your person. They ain't coming out. Spirit too busy uplifting you. <laughs> oh, shit. Spirit too busy showing you what, 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 what's coming your way, Scorpio, and what type of energy you got around you, let alone your person, but you do got it here. Now, it's telling you you have a new relationship coming your way because you got Cupid in romance, you got this Cupid's arrow strikes. Now, I feel like, of course, per, per Scorpio user, you got new as well as X energy, always trying to come back. But this says new relationship. It says, talks about love. You have a new love relationship coming your way, Scorpio, that is new. And you still going to have an ex lurking in the background, Scorpio, uh, looking crazy. And they go to universe. <laughs> I know that's the world card. Look at you, Scorpio. Oh, your completion, reward, success. Oh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Look, <laughs> the nine of wands here. So I wonder who is this nine of wands energy? Is this you holding back? Is this, some Scorpios are wounded, but it just changed. You see how it changed? <laughs> Somebody could be wounded, Scorpio, because they know they feel like you're having a new beginning somewhere else. Give me one more card and I clarify. Ooh, look at you. Ace of Pit, then I <laughs> Scorpio, don't play with me. You always doing this to me. Look at you. You always get this. You have the Ace of Cups and the and let me see what Ace of Pentacles mean. Right quick. Hold on. 
You got the ace. You, didn't I tell you always have aces up your sleeve in abundance? You always have it. Always. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Scorpio. Now, give me a moment. I want to see what, what they say. Ace of Pentacles. Now, for this deck, it says new opportunity, prosperity, abundance, and manifestation. So it's telling you shit is about to come. Whatever you've been manifesting is coming, Scorpio. Scorpio's been manifesting that love and that money. Ain't you? That money and that honey. Ain't you been manifesting love and money? And Spirit and did you one more. Spirit's have been enhanced your spiritual capabilities too with this uh, hermit energy, Scorpio. You're going to be wise. You're going to be wiser than the average person. But this nine on one, let's see what this nine, let's see what's going on here, Scorpio. Now, let's see. Who, Spirit, clarify this nine of ones. What's this about for Scorpio? It's going to start changing again. Death. They go death again, Scorpio. So, someone is, so, this could be you blocking, you could be blocking <laughs> You could be blocking, Scorpio. You could have blocked yourself because you've been hurt in the past, so you're blocking your emotions here. Uh, but it seems like this there was an ending here, or or you're transformed. Let's see. Clarify death in this nine of wands. Three of pentacles. I feel like you don't want to deal with nobody right now for some Scorpios. Especially if it's not on your level, Scorpio. I feel like this is blocking negative past energy because you're going to welcome this Ace of Cups as well as this Ace of Pentacles. It's time and it's going to be successful in your life everywhere. You got the Wheel of Fortune, which is chance. You got the Nymph of Pentacles. All this represents abundance, uh, opportunities, new jobs, new careers. You got a new relationship in love coming. You got the Hierophant. You got rebirth, transformation here. Spirit, clarify this three of pentacles. Got the three of wands and the three of pentacles. Look, the emperor. It's an emperor. You got might have an Aries. <laughs> you might have an Aries, Scorpio, that's looking crazy here. You may have blocked the Aries, Scorpio. You may have blocked another Scorpio. Because I feel like you no longer want to partner up with this person. You don't want to work things out with this person here. And I feel like either you're blocked from this person or <clears throat> or this person is wounded because you, you ended it with them because of a third party situation. But now they want to come back and take control of the situation of this emperor energy. Who child? Now what's up with this six of swords, Spirit? Clarify six of swords. Six of Swords is clarified by the Hermit card. See? This way you move from, you move towards, you got the Hermit card twice, you move towards uh, calmer waters, and you had to introspect and figure some shit out. And I feel like it's, you, Spirit has revealed a lot of things that's helping you out. I don't even see you, nobody, nobody Scorpio. Look, the Ten of Wands here, because you had to figure out how to release this bird <laughs> that you just got out of, Scorpio. You released it too, because Spirit showed you. Spirit showed the light to you. So this is why you moved away from your past toxic relationships. And it's like Spirit's finna make up for everything that was lost to you. That's why you got all these, you got the death card twice in here. Look, the star. See, that's why you moved away from it. The star card. Some Scorpio's dealing with the Virgo and Aquarius here. Uh, 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 Aries. That's why you moved away, Scorpio. And let me see what this three of wands is about real quick. Look, see, you plant, look, this three of wands as you're looking ahead. You're not looking back as you're waiting for this ace of cups, Scorpio. And here it is right here. You want new and here it is. I don't know who it is. Spirit ain't showing, but spirit is telling you it's coming. This is who you're waiting on, Scorpio. You're waiting for something new that's more emotional. Isn't that beautiful? That's way much more emotionally fulfilling than what you had, Scorpio. Whew. Four of Pentacles. Now, this looks like this Four of Pentacles is secure. Now, they say it's, it's confident, it's confidence. 
uh, is security and is also holding on or holding back here. So I feel like you are holding back from anybody else, but then again, it's gold. I'm going to see that Scorpio. I feel like you're holding back for anything lesser than what you deserve, and you're holding back to have something new and something that's worth your time, Scorpio. Because other than that, what's the freaking use? I'm saying, what is the use? This four of pentacles in here says abundance, control, enjoyment, and sharing here. So this is what you this is what you 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 turn your back on uh in the six of swords energy. You turned your back to to look for a brand new love overflowing someone who is giving in abundance in this relationship, Scorpio. She got abundance all around you, and then it's a pentacle too. Dang, what's this death card about, Spirit? Clarify death for Scorpio. What is this about for Scorpio? Death. See, it's clarified by the wheel of fortune. See, there's a major rebirth about you, you got one, you got a major arcana clarifying, you got another major arcana with the death, which means rebirth, transformation, and the wheel of fortune means that karma, what you put out, what you sow, you reap. The wheel may turn in your favor, the wheel may turn out of your favor, depending on what you planted out here in the universe. So obviously, Scorpio, things are turning in your favor because of the energy that you put out here. And that's in return is going to give you this major transformation and rebirth in your life, Scorpio, because you did the right things. I, I just feel like you did some right things, obviously, because I feel like with all this abundance coming your way, you've had to do the right thing. And this is not the first time you've gotten the will of fortune. You got it right here, chance. Too. That's why I forgot chance is will of fortune too. So you got the will of fortune card twice here. Ooh, clarify this will of fortune and death. What is this about? Like I said, for most of you Scorpios or for whoever Scorpio does resonate what, what was once dead in your life? And I ain't talking about no person. I'm talking about a career, an idea, a dream, uh, intentions, motivation, uh, money, uh, you know, careers. Spirit is about to give it back to you in an amazing, 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 amazing way, Scorpio. What you thought was over, it's not over because Spirit is about to revitalize. I'm going to tell you, Spirit is about to revamp everything about you, Scorpio. You got the Knight of Swords because I feel like you're, I feel like you're you're focused. I feel like you you um you got a lot of drive in you, Scorpio. Like, like that other deck said, it's not based on your luck. Cause look, Will of Fortune, Karma ain't got shit to do with luck. You they they're not even in the same category. There's no such thing as luck. Real, if you really want to be real, it's about that work that you put in. Is is what is what Spirit is telling you. Because you got some of the wickedest people who can manifest things. It's because they know the spiritual laws of manifestation. They know the law of the universe. So what it's telling you is that anybody can get good things back. It doesn't mean that your luck is that you didn't did some type of manifestation or you didn't hooked up and you didn't align your energy with the law of manifestation. And that's all we all can do. That's the only way you can get it. And you have to believe and constantly nourish that intention. Whatever you set your intention on, you can't leave it and walk away from it. No, you have to constantly, constantly uh, 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 cater to it. You have to nourish it. You have to love on it. You have to speak life into it so that it, so that it brings you what you're planting. I'm telling you. So that's what spirits so don't get caught up thinking everybody got something over on you. They don't. It's all about that spiritual work and how you're going to use your law of attraction for your life. That's it. So... A lot of Scorpio spirit is telling you're attracting this because this is what you put out here. And for some Scorpios, this is what you saw on this time. You got the will of fortune here twice, Scorpio. It's time. And I feel like it's because you stay focused. I feel like you've taken action. I feel like you pursued it with the vengeance. You stayed on it, Scorpio. And you've been very, very um, in it, Scorpio. You stay focused, Scorpio, and determined. Persevered, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio. Give me one more card for this death, this will of fortune, and this knight of swords. Spirit. One more card. I don't see nobody, Scorpio. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> but still, Scorpio, I don't even care if anybody else show up because you got new love right here anyway. 
There go that six of cups. So you may have someone that's very, very impulsive that really, because they look like the same look. <laughs> You got someone from your past that want to come back. Someone who you ended it with. And now either this person did some major transformation in their life, Scorpio. Because like I said, Scorpio, that a card is right there. It's just confirming that some of y'all Scorpio's person has did some real transformation. But whether you want this old person back or not, because I already told you, you're going to have the choice between an old or a new you got this Ace of Cups here. This is new love here. This is love overflowing. And also you got this Ace of Pentacles. You got a lot of shit going on in your personal life. It's up to you if you entertain an ex. But for the Scorpios who want the ex, this is why this transformation is here. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Whether it's an old love, Scorpio, or a new love, it doesn't matter. I guess it only matters with who, what you, what you want it to be, Scorpio, by you manifesting or whatever. It's coming in a way because because spirit has stepped in. Spirit is descending this this energy. So for some of you Scorpios who low key want your ex, spirit is about to shoot your ass. And some of you Scorpios who your mouth is saying one thing, but your soul is telling spirit something else. Spirit is gonna get you too. So it's <laughs> you you can fool with me, which I don't care. I'm just saying I love you all anyway because we all have to do our own thing, what makes us happy. But some of you want your ex back, and this one's going to come back the right way, while others of you are going to live a very abundant life with a new love here. And y'all going to ball all in the galaxy. <laughs> y'all going to be all, y'all going to be balling everywhere. I'm telling y'all how y'all spaceship and shit. I just see it here. Now, what's up with this? What time is oh it's over an hour let me stop i'm gonna pull after i finish this scorpio i'm gonna pull another reading for you okay sorry it took so long but god dang i just had to do it but this is amazing energy for you scorpio you you i feel like some scorpios got a because the only person i see in here is the emperor i see this knight of swords and that's the only two masculine energies i see in here or, or, you know, or the hermit, it could be Virgo. But I know what you do have. You do have a new committed, you have a do, new love relationship coming your way. You have new opportunities. You have doors opening for you that you never even could imagine. You, you upgrade from now on. You, you, <laughs> you finna start sitting in, in, in the big folks table, Scorpio. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, Scorpio, you have been tremendously upgraded and it's so befitting you because a lot of people probably counted you out. People are going to be wondering how the hell you're at where you at when they couldn't get it. I'm telling you, you got this favor on you, Scorpio, because you have did that work and you sowed the right seeds and it's time for harvesting time. So harvesting time it is for you, Scorpio. So Scorpio, if this video resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment. And I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye, Scorpio.